kidding me? Seven potential WrestleMania 35 matches following the Royal Rumble. Number seven, Drew McIntyre vs. John Cena. You might be thinking why the Royal Rumble pay-per-view possibly set up a match between Drew McIntyre and John Cena as Cena wasn't part of the Rumble at all. But the reason for that was all to do with the Scotsman. It was McIntyre who injured Cena's ankle in the match on Monday Night Raw that ruled him out of the Rumble in terms of WWE storyline reason. Even though in reality Cena is fit and healthy to compete, this could have been done to build the reason for Cena to challenge McIntyre to a match at WrestleMania, which would give Drew a massive match on the card, continuing WWE's decision to push him. Number 6. Samoa Joe vs Mustafa Ali The feud between Samoa Joe and Mustafa Ali had actually started just before the Royal Rumble within the previous two Smackdowns and because it has already been going on for a few weeks, the company might end up burning through this before we arrive at WrestleMania. But that would be a shame as the storyline between two people as talented as Joe and Ali could be incredibly interesting and would make for a solid match on the card in what would be Joe's first ever Mania appearance. WWE is clearly continuing with the storyline for now as Ali was the man who eliminated Joe from the Royal Rumble match. Despite how dominant he was within the match and hopefully the writers can be creative enough to get this to the grandest state of them all. Number 5. Charlotte Flair vs Asuka The Royal Rumble was an incredible night for women's wrestling and Asuka really benefited from the booking that she received, keeping hold for her SmackDown Women's Championship in dominant fashion. Charlotte Flair wasn't quite as fortunate at the Rumble, failing to win the Rumble match, but that doesn't mean she didn't look strong, as WWE was very careful in its booking, ensuring that Flair was one of the most dominant performers in the match, finishing second only to Becky Lynch. This could have been done to keep Charlotte as strong as possible for the road to WrestleMania, and with Lynch likely to challenge Ronda Rousey, this could open up a potential WrestleMania rematch between Charlotte Flair and Asuka on the blue side of things. Number 4. Buddy Murphy vs Hideo Tami The Cruiserweight Championship match on the Royal Rumble kickoff show was a fantastic bout as all four men put on a clinic and showed why the purple brand is a show that more people need to be watching. In the end, Buddy Murphy was able to retain the title in the Fatal 4-Way, pinning Hideo Tami to get the job done. And it's because he pinned the former NXT superstar that many believe that could be a Cruiserweight title match at WrestleMania. WWE has been building a Tommy steadily in recent weeks, and as someone with as much talent as him, giving a Tommy a showcase title match at WrestleMania is never going to be a bad idea, even if it ends up on the pre-show. Number 3. Shinsuke Nakamura vs Mustafa Ali We mentioned Mustafa Ali earlier on this list, with the match against Samoa Joe being a possibility at WrestleMania this year. However, as we stated, that is a feud that WWE might choose to finish up at Elimination Chamber or Fast Lane. When that does end, one possible feud that WWE could give to Ali is one against the United States Champion Shinsuke Nakamura, providing Ali a big opportunity for a title match on the biggest show of the year. It was Ali who eliminated Nakamura from the Rumble and the two men have the potential to put on a fantastic match against each other. WWE could let Shinsuke feud with Rusev while Ali deals with Samoa Joe before bringing them together for a possibly very special match. Number 2. Dean Ambrose vs Aleister Black this might be a WrestleMania 35 match that nobody saw coming, but it has been rumored for a while that WWE was planning on using Dean Ambrose's star power to elevate someone by facing an NXT call-up at WrestleMania. Many fans thought that the man could have been EC3, but after he didn't appear in the Rumble, it remains unclear what WWE's plans are for him. One man who did appear in the match was Aleister Black, who had a fantastic showing on the night. Black failed to capture the NXT Championship in his rematch at TakeOver Phoenix and is more than ready for the move to the main roster and after eliminating Ambrose, who is now out of the intercontinental title picture within the Rumble match, the seat has been planned for his arrival and possible first feud. Number 1. The Miz vs Shane McMahon The Royal Rumble saw the crowning of the brand new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions as the unlikely duo of Shane McMahon and The Miz overcame the dominant and experienced team of the bar in what was a very entertaining match. There are several ways that WWE could go with this as a possible lengthy tag team run is something that WWE fans are actually starting to warm to. Even though people were spec even though people were doubting of the team at first, they have managed to win most people over. However, the route that seems the most obvious is that the Miz will eventually turn on Shane, returning to his heelish ways where he's best placed, setting up a big singles match to get Shane on the card, allowing the tag teams the chance to fight for the titles at WrestleMania. 